it's Liv. Today I am bringing you some easy vegan snacks to go. So in this video I hope to show you how easy and quick preparing healthy vegan snacks can be. And this video is in partnership with the app Lifesum. If you haven't seen my first video collaboration with Lifesum, I will leave the link in the description box. But basically Lifesum is an app that allows you to input your food, so it's kind of like a food diary, as well as your exercise, your water. A few of the functions that I love that you can do with Lifesum is tracking your water, and I'll just show you how to do it. Basically, you just go into the app, you click on diary, and then you scroll down to the bottom, and where it says water, all you do is just click on the glass as soon as you drink like an eight ounce, that's one glass of water. So this is a really good way to track that. So then for the food, it's really easy to, again, track what you're eating. So for people who are vegan, who have people like your parents who are worrying about you, wondering if you're getting enough protein or calcium or all those nutrients that they always bring up when they hear that you're vegan, um, this is a really good way to show them that you are in fact getting enough. So all you have to do is, for example, um, if you want to add in a food, um, so you can search chia seeds, one level tablespoon, you just click the plus button, and then it just adds it to your diary. But if you're using a packaged product, like for example in this video I use this granola, all you have to do is find the barcode on the box, so the barcode here is on the bottom, and then you just click scan barcode, and then you just line it up to the barcode, and once it's in the right spot, it will just take the picture for you. You don't need to click on anything. And then it just inputs it right into the app. And like I showed in my other video, if you get the premium version, it also comes with the database of recipes, which is also really helpful. So definitely go check out my last video if you want to learn more about that. If you're interested in downloading Lifesum, the link is in the description box. It will be the first link there. But that is everything I have to say for now, so let's get into the video. So this first recipe is chia pudding, but I blended it with some berries to make it almost like a super smooth vegan yogurt. So I just threw a few frozen raspberries and frozen blueberries in a blender, along with some soaked chia seeds that I soaked in almond milk and with some extra frozen berries too. So I blended that all together and you can add a bit of liquid sweetener if you like, but it's not necessary. And then I just put that into a container and next to it I served it with some granola. I also recommend serving this with some extra fruit, so I love having strawberries or more blueberries or even some chopped up banana. I don't actually like chewing the seeds in chia pudding, so this is a super nice alternative. This next idea is super cute. All you're going to need is some cut up veggie sticks and some hummus. So you just need to put some hummus in the bottom of a little mason jar and then just poke all of the veggie sticks down into it and then when you pull each one out it will have the perfect amount of hummus on it and you can do this with like celery and almond butter or you could put some like vegan ranch in the bottom. So I just love this idea. You can customize it however you like. Salad rolls are another super easy and awesome healthy vegan snack, so there's tons of recipes for how to make these and I will link a video below for how I make mine, but these are perfect for bringing for lunch, you could also add some tofu in them to give them a little bit more protein if you want, and yeah, I just love salad rolls. This snack idea is definitely a favorite. It's just chips and guacamole. This is the kind of guacamole I've been using. It's super good. Um, so I just like to put a few tablespoons of that into my little bento box container. And then in the big container, I just add some unsalted corn chips. And I just like the unsalted ones because I find the guacamole gives a lot of flavor on its own. And this last idea, you could obviously serve it with guacamole if you want, but I really like hummus with pita, so I got these little mini pitas at the grocery store. They're so cute, I could actually cry. And then I just have these little containers of hummus, which are amazing if you're going on road trips or you're traveling because they're just super portable and they're already in their own little package. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys next time.